Here we go. So welcome to JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Rich's Boxing and Cornerstone Boxing Academy. And with me now, I've got the real deal, David Jameson. How you doing, David? I'm very well, mate. How are yourself? You good? Oh, mate, I'm buzzing. And <laughs> only because, <laughs> yeah, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. But yeah, um, yeah honestly, mate, so chuffed to have you on. And mm -hmm. um, I've been chatting to other people. They've all been saying, what a nice guy. I don't think I haven't met a Scottish fighter that isn't an ass guy either, to well, be perfectly honest. Um, you're the toughest bastards out there, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just no. Past regions, aren't they? <laughs> no, it's good to be on, mate. Thanks, thanks very much for having us on. Oh, honestly, thank you very much. And um, yeah, so far in your career, 12 fights, 10 wins, 7 knockouts. Yep. Going well. Yeah, listen, to you. I've said that I'm well quoted in all my interviews for saying it. You're out there to try and get your man out of there. Uh, that's what puts bums in seats. That's what people want to see. Um, the silky box, nah, not so much at cruiserweight. You're in there to get the job done, aren't you? Do, you? do you think there's many people that are silky boxers in the cruiserweight division, to be honest? Yeah, uh, there's a couple. Uh, you're, you're, you're Jason Thompson, things like that. Um, there, there is a few. Don't get me wrong, I can do it. I just choose not to. It's, it's, a, it's me, but you know, planting the feet and getting more involved, it's it's a bit more fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And um, you're back to winning ways um, in, in, well, March, not not too long ago now. Yeah. Um, a cracking name as well that you were against, to be perfectly honest. I won't yeah. even try to say it. I know, no, it's a, it's a hard one. But yeah, no, the boy that we were um, initially meant to fight, it, it didn't come off. Um, and then Sam, my manager, he got in touch with us and they said, look, we've got a, a chance out of this sort of unbeaten Greek boy. And that's, that's the stage I'm at in my career now. Albeit, he was a bit a relative unknown. But I'm not looking for the, like, no disrespect to the journeyman, but I'm not looking for that anymore. I'm looking to be tested and, and try and press on. Which uh, obviously it was it's done its job because it brings us nicely on to what we were talking about off camera there with us the next one yeah, that's yeah. coming off. So um, uh, that... the test though, he, he was a he was a test. You know, I watched the fight again today. Yeah, he, he he did test you. He he threw some good shots. Yeah. I have to say, when you got him in the corner, that's when you got your work done. You know, yep. you really pinned him down, worked yep. the body, worked really well behind the jab, and he and he just didn't. No, he, he almost had one game plan. And yeah. if the game plan weren't going to work, it was just a case of you were just breaking him down. And then he retired pretty much, didn't he, at the end of the fifth? They were saying it was a, a bust eardrum, something like that. Like his equilibrium was away and he was, he was getting trouble with it. He spoke very broken English, but he was getting trouble with his eardrum. So I presume that's what it was about. Yeah, yeah. But mm. we're we're moving on, mate. We're moving yes. on. Uh -huh. Um I know you heard about it via the grapevine, and I've heard about it via the grapevine. <laughs> and, um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's coming out as official news, should we say, shortly. Official uh, news, I reckon. Well, they, these guys, well, Matchroom, I can say that it's Matchroom. They tend to they've announced all their shows up until the twenty eighth or the twenty ninth of May. Um, and we are scheduled for the 10th of June. So it's usually around about the eight-week mark. So it'll be this weekend, I would imagine, that the news will drop. Yeah, yeah. Are we allowed to say who it no, is? Uh, listen, Ed, well, there you are. As I said to you, the International Boxing News, they actually commented something on Instagram, and it was like a quote from Eddie Hearn. So I, I think I was as well just... Just going for it, mate. I'll let you drop the bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I'm absolutely buzzing for it because two <laughs> great fighters. Um, cruiserweight division is always mm -hmm. an exciting division for me. Yeah. Because um, yeah. you've got that mixture of power. You've still got the speed. Yeah. There's a bit more, still a bit more agile, still a bit more, but the, the power's there. And it, it is, mm -hmm. it's just a great division at the moment as well. With, mm -hmm. um, Lawrence Acoli sort of really pushing. Yeah, um, as well. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. Chev Clark That's is going to be is going to yeah. be the one to it's get the bombs to... next. <laughs> ah, it's going to be. It's a uh, well. There you go. I mean, the both is. I mean, look, Chev, former Olympian, GB podium squad yeah. boxer for as long as you can remember, um, and then you've got myself. But they're both very fan friendly fighters, um, and yeah, it's it's on for the tenth of June. Um, in London, and it's a British title eliminator. Yeah, yeah. 
you get that you get that another shot again. And are you hoping to get it against the same person again? See, to be honest, it's, it's, a, it's a good one. Yeah, no, it's, of course, it'd be nice to get the Mikel scenario um, because I think everybody saw how that was going. To be honest, I think, despite, I mean, even that with the draw, I think Mikel's the easier opponent than Isaac. I think, that, you know, Isaac's a bit of a handful. He can, he can punch, he can box, he can, he's got a lot more in his arsenal than what Mikel's got. And I think I was actually, I was, I was quoted as saying that in the, in the build-up to the Mikel fight. I said, he's a one-trick pony, uh, one-trick pony, sorry, albeit a, a very spectacular trick. And I mean, that was it. I mean, I think I was on course. People maybe had me around up here and there. I was on course to come on strong in the last four and, and you know, really, really sort of take a foothold in the fight. And then the jaw happened. So... Uh, it, the guy's he's got like a, a crazy genetic power he can seriously punch um, so can I, there, there you go it's the same scenario with me can Isaac outbox him but all, all that Mikel needs to do is catch him once so it's a good fight it's a really interesting one to watch so what's your prediction for that fight David? I, I fancy Isaac yeah but, yeah. but again, I fancied myself and then and then that <laughs> happened then we can catch honestly I, I kid you not mate I've I said this to MD that was willing to listen. I've been doing this for a long time now. I've been boxing for about 16, 17 years. Fought big punchers, sparred heavyweights, you know, all that sort of stuff. Mikel Alal can punch, honestly. Like, different league stuff, man. Crazy, crazy power he generates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you say, it's, it's, I think boxing in general, when you look at the fights that are coming up, you know, we were talking about predictions and stuff earlier, me and my mates, and, and some of the fights coming up have really exploded boxing back onto the scene again, isn't it? You know, yeah. I know there's a lot of drive around Premier League and 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 all sorts of other stuff going on at the moment. But when you yeah. look at boxing, it's just back on the map, isn't it? I would say that you know, especially over here in Britain. I mean, we are we are the front runners now. It's not you know, I know America still commands a fair bit of respect in terms of like. What viewing numbers, there's a lot of money over yeah. there, isn't it, for pay-per-view boxing. But over here in the UK, I mean, we are absolutely the front runners. I mean, I think, what was it, they were looking at what the heavyweight rankings and stuff like that. I think there's, a, there's like five of the top ten or four of the top ten all from the UK. So, I mean, yeah. it tells you all you need to know. Yeah, yeah. We were, we, were, we were chatting earlier about fights coming up. You've obviously got Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor. The women's division is booming at the moment. Mega. Um, Go, going, you know, to, to like the Americans you were saying, obviously yeah. Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia is going to be a tasty fight as well. That's this. Tight, well, that's a good one. They're, they're doing, you know yourself, it's a bit, a bit of build-up as well. They're doing a good job of building that. Um, but seeing my honest opinion, well, it'd be interesting. What, what do you feel? How do you feel that fight goes at? And my Davis, first, I think, aye, it's got to be Davis. It's, uh, I mean, I think, you know yourself, you've got that like, world level and then you've got that that special elite world yeah. level. Bonnie Davis, I mean, the guy's just a dog. I mean, he, I think can he wins it. it. I think he wins it later rounds. He'll he'll break down. Stop him. Um, he'll, uh, yeah, he'll break, yeah, break yes. down Garcia. And then yep. I reckon you're looking between six and nine. Nah, I'm, just I'm, I'm, out. I'm the same, mate. Yeah, no, that's who I've got. Definitely. Javonna Davis for stoppage, man, till eight rounds. Oh, mate. I don't need to do prediction shows anymore. I'll just bring you on. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got a prediction here ourselves from Sam at SWS Boxing. Great yep. lad. Really nice lad. He's turned around. He's put David by KO. 100%. Nice one. Oh, yeah. No, Sam. D done an interview with Sam a, a wee while yeah. back. He's a lovely young lad. By the way, fair play to him. He's what he's doing. He's out there, young lad, putting himself out there, and he's, he's interviewing all his big grizzly fighters. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's gone with you, David. He's mm -hmm. you. Good man. Get your money on it, Sam, because you'll get some serious odds in that when it gets announced next week. Surely, surely the odds are going to be. I, I don't know how because boxing's always a funny one, isn't it? You've got mm -hmm. two guys. I know the unless it's a complete outsider going against someone who's, you know. But you two guys, you've both got decent records. You've both been around a while. You've obviously come through in different ways, mm -hmm. but. You're both. This this is this is a tough fight to call. This this you know, it's a tough fight for people to call that love boxing, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I think um, 
I like, like I said to you, I mentioned it off camera, like despite like the whole ten days notice and things and I still work full time, I'm I'm a workshop manager, I work construction. Um despite the ten days notice and, and all that sort of stuff, I went in and I showed my worth um against Mikel. And I think a lot of people had his own on track to, to press on and maybe win that. Um the whole plan that I was boxing to was that we knew we knew I wasn't um as as fit as I would like to have been, so it was just chip away, box to the plan, do enough just to take it out of him. Because we knew we knew he wasn't going to be as, as fit as me anyway. Um, and then come come on strong in the last four rounds and maybe try and force a stoppage. So it's, it showed it showed everybody what level we're at. Yeah, yeah. So what's your prediction, David, for the fight? What's your prediction? <laughs> no, listen, I, I, I make no 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 qualms about it. I'm always going out there to stop my man. So I'll be coming down here in mega shape and looking to, to box on the front foot and really, really impose myself on shape and try and, um, try and force a stoppage. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And Sam's jumped in again. It's going to be a good fight, but David is going to smash it. Also, David was up on the card. Yeah. In, in, yeah. yeah. Boy, Sam, right. cheering, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's the thing. And and the thing is, you don't know what your body's going to do. You, you, you can only, yeah. you just don't know. Anything can happen in boxing. People, oh, no. We've seen countless broken hands. And mm-hmm. stuff like that and and it changes a fight totally even broken noses are the worst i've seen it in fights someone gets a broken nose the eyes are watering you you're all over yeah. the place listen here i'm the, i'm the master of the broken nose oh, <laughs> <laughs> is that why you've said that there you probably mine was, mine was rugby, <laughs> but, um, but, yeah oh mate I've, I've had one white collar fight and um mm-hmm. yeah i've got one more in december and right um, right yeah, I, I I love it, but I, I, I mate, I've got to the point where a punch doesn't really change much else anymore. To be honest, I hear you. No, I know, I know. I, I've got to the other side that where they're actually making me better looking now. I've went that. <laughs> but now I'm going back to it. Start knocking stuff back into place. That's it. That's it. I'm trying to get everything happening this side to try and straighten my nose up a bit. Not I mean. <laughs> but no, honestly, Dave, I. I really appreciate your time coming on and no. um, like I say, absolutely buzzing. Um, British mm-hmm. Eliminator. Um, yeah, it's it's just going to be a cracking fight coming up next month. Well, yeah. in June, sorry, in June. June, um, yeah. So, yeah, two great guys going up against each other. And as you said, fan favourites, they're popular guys, two nice yeah. guys as well with yeah. the sport. Um yeah, just looking forward to it. A great dust up. That's then, it. There'll be no, there'll be no rubbish or that crap in the build up and stuff. I think me and Shave, from what I've seen, I've obviously not met the guy, but I'll be very respectful in the build up. Um, we'll both do our bit in the training camps, and then we'll get in there on the tenth of June, and it's the winner goes on to fight the winner at Isaac and Mikhail. No, and we look forward to it, mate. But I better let you go. Otherwise, you're going to have a bigger fight on your hands as it's your wife's birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, no, Dave, thanks so much for your time and um, wish you all the best and happy birthday to your wife. Well, I went, mate. Listen, talk, bro. It was a pleasure speaking to you, mate. Thank you. No worries. Stay in touch and I'll speak all to right. you soon. Yep, definitely, mate. Stay in touch. Cheers, lad. Thanks, mate. Well, yeah. there we go. The real deal. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let us know in the comments. Give him your support as well. Top bloke. And um, as you say, he's putting everything into this. This this is his life. This is yeah. what he's dedicated to. And um, he deserves to do well out of it. Just, just a nice bloke. So, Dave, thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.